that was how the, this actual piece came about. Yeah. Like we had just like floated the idea in the studio one time because he told me that he wanted to do a, a collab with the realism painter based around these sculptures. And I was like, well, let me know if you ever want to do it. And then like a month later, he was in London and he started sending me these pictures of this concrete. I was doing things with concrete. His paintings all have that like washed out, like like moss runoff, like I rust runoff. I like, think it's basically it's just me saying like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm releasing a series of sculptures at the show and I want to find a way that we can also take the same feeling of a sculpture, a sculpture in a 3D space into a canvas. I think it's important to just, I think a lot of, I think a lot of art that's consumed by the viewer, it's important for like your subconscious to register elements that you've experienced in like nature or just in your everyday life. And I feel like that kind of like that algae and that that rock, the con it's like the elements you always see them and you walk past it so much, but then when you're presented to it in a very yeah. clear way, in a very clean way, like in a gallery setting. It feels familiar. Yeah, you're just it feels like, yeah. yeah. And then I also think when you step out of the gallery space, the studio space, then you have a better appreciation for that. I think if you're directing your viewer to take a moment to like pause and be in the moment with what's around, then mm -hmm. that's when the full circle of like creating art really happens.